Hi, and welcome back to Inspired to Game. I'm Sean. And I am Lola. Today, we are talking about Photo Tour North America. Now, this is a game currently on Kickstarter. We will have the link to that below. It is a game for two to five players, and we want to thank Timoshev Publishing for sending us a copy of the prototype to review. Now, before we get into a review, we'll give you a quick overview of how to play. In Photo Tour North America, you are a photographer traveling around North America to take gorgeous photos, attempting to win photo contests. During your turn, you can perform one of four actions. You can plan, meaning that you draw a card from the face-up cards on the table and add it to your hand. Or you can choose to travel by choosing one of the face-up dice and traveling by that method, as long as you're able to from your current location. Or, on your turn, you can also gather photography equipment. Simply take one of the tokens there and place it in one of the three slots if there's space available. Or you could take a photo. To take a photo, you must be at the location with your meeple that you're planning on taking the photo. Simply take the photo card and put it in your traveler's journal. If you put it in a location that corresponds to the right type, as in nature into nature or urban into urban, you will also gain the benefit of that location. In the top row, these are one-time use abilities. The bottom row has additional end game scorings. When you place a photo, you can also place photography equipment on it if they correspond to the icons on the card. Each token you place on a card will be worth an additional three points at the end of the game. However, you can only place a photography equipment on a picture when you take it. One important thing to be aware of in this game is that the cards and the travel dice and the photography equipment do not refresh on their own. So as they are taken around the table, your selection decreases. However, anyone on their turn can use a free action to refresh any one of those that they want to by paying a resource, either photography equipment token or a card. To refresh, you can choose the cards or the travel dice or the photography equipment, and you can refresh just one or two or the entire row of it. As you play the game and take beautiful photos, you'll find that you'll have more abilities. Many of these cards have actions that can be performed as an extra ability, either during your turn or between players' turns. These abilities can be very powerful and are fantastic to leverage throughout the game. As you play, you're also going to want to be aware of what the three photo contests are and work towards those points. They will be worth a significant amount of points at the end of the game. At the end of the game, you will add up all your points from your photos, any extra points that your board has accrued you, as well as any photo contest that you may have won. And then you see who has won the game. The art in this game is gorgeous. So all of the photos of all around North America, they're absolutely lovely. As you can see, the game box is beautiful and even the board. It's, you know, that could have been a lot less colorful than it is. There's a lot of color to this. And the components are quite nice. So keep in mind, this is a prototype of everything that you see. Now the wooden tokens for the photography equipment will be for the deluxe version and the retail will have punch board. Now this is a nice lightweight family gateway game. One of the things that I think is kind of unique what they do with it is that the cards and components do not refresh, which is something typical. So that plays into your strategy for the game. When you take your initial picks, you're going to want to be take that, which is most important to you as cards are removed. They aren't naturally filled back up. So that makes it tighter and tighter as the game progresses. The nice thing though too is that if you don't like what's out there and you want to refresh it, if you have an extra resource to just discard, you can refresh exactly as much of one component as you want to. So either the photos or the travel or the, the photo equipment. It does however refresh once one is empty. So if somebody does take that last photo or that last equipment, then it is refreshed on its own but it's nice that you can kind of jump start that and get it refreshed sooner as well i found that an interesting part of the game is that usually you get maybe two or three of those mechanics dice and cards or dice and pulling stuff from a bag this has all three so it's a lot of pulls that re that rely on luck but it also gives you that mechanic to actually mitigate that luck what i really love about it as well 
are the cards. They each have, or not all of them, but most of them have some kind of power that it will give you. And as you gain more and more photos in your journal, you can build these abilities and your game gets progressively easier mm -hmm. and more kind of fun and satisfying because you have more actions that you can do. Um, there are some that are really powerful and really nice to get your get a hold of. Now you can only do one on your turn action on your turn or one between turns, but there are things that can trigger because say your opponent grabs something, now you get something as well. So there are some really nice cards that give it a bit of a feel of an engine builder in that respect. That's nice and satisfying as you go through the game. And the different powers of the cards kind of mesh in with the different player powers on the asymmetrical player boards give you a lot of variety as you play the different games. Yeah, the player board powers are one-time use, but they can be very, very helpful to use them just at the opportune time. Now, this game plays for about 30 to 60 minutes. What I like about it, too, is it's educational. I really enjoy seeing the different photos from all around North America come out, and they even have some flavor text underneath, so you can learn a little bit about that location. And that makes it a really nice one for family and kids to play as well. I also really like how you can enhance the value of your photos. So on each photo, there is a circled number and that is how many victory points that it will be worth at the end of the game. Now it's wonderful to be able to enhance this by using the photography tokens and you don't have to. It's just if you want it to be worth more you can do it. You have to do it strategically as well because you can only enhance the value of each photo with those tokens when you take the photo. You can't mm -hmm. put them on after the fact. So there's a little bit of a planning involved there but it can be really satisfying to take that card that's only worth two or three and augment it to like 11 or 12 so it could be nice however there is luck on what comes out so what photo tokens are out as well as even the move cards so you have to play around with that there's very often we just couldn't get the tokens we wanted to when playing the card because there's a speed element to this game as well because whoever first completes their photo journal will signal the end of the game and it will continue playing until everyone has had the same amount of turns. So you don't necessarily want to lag too much in your game by trying to find and wait for the right token to appear or continuously losing resources to redraw it in order to try to get it. That can hinder you. So very often you just have to let it go, work with what you've got there and do the best you can. So for final thoughts, this is a solid, lightweight, beautiful family game with an educational component and gorgeous pictures. It reminds me of the trekking games and has a similarity to feel to parks and games like that to me. So if those are games that you like, you'll want to check this out. And to me, uh, the engine building, although it's minor, it does remind me a little bit of Wingspan. And mm. if you like that as well, you might want to check this out. Thank you so much for watching today. If you've enjoyed this video, please support the channel by subscribing if you haven't done so already. And as always, happy, happy gaming, gaming, folks. We are talking about Photo Tour North America <laughs> and use its corresponding icon to move in the corresponding way. <laughs> Here's our impression of Photo Tour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So as they are taken by players around the table, the selection gets narrower, narrower and narrower. <laughs> That's hard to say. I, why is that hard to say? <laughs> oh, but just a lot. Ah, I'm having trouble. Okay. Okay. I got it. I got this. And then you see who is the best photographer of Photo Tour North America. <laughs> either. So either the, so either the photos or then you party hardy Marty. <laughs> a really I don't know what they really do. They really, they really, they really, really, really. are really helpful in a game. Um, are really nice. <laughs> are really nice. That's nice. That's nice. And then you see who has won photo tour, North America. <laughs> what I like about it too is it's educational as well. <laughs> like educational. Yep. <laughs> Now, so family. <laughs> now, so. I got through that in one. <laughs> Yay! <laughs>